Welcome to Home Library Book Review Children Series, where we select a book right from the shelf and explain its content through easy to understand text, graphics, example, and animation, along with discussion with family members. Today, we are reviewing two story books most suitable for toddlers. Off to the forest and carry and Coco the cat. These books are for beginner readers who can read short, simple sentences with help. It is ideal for kindergarten kids. These books have good illustrations to make it lively, and this book will help kids to know about sight words and naming words. Let's begin with the first book, Off to the Forest. Z, the zebra is sad. Her stripes are lost. She looks funny without her stripes. Bip, the bee comes buzzing along. Z, where are your stripes? She asks. I have lost them, says Z. Can you see them anywhere? Ola, the owl comes hooting. Z, where are your stripes? She asks. I have lost them, says Z. Please help me find them. Leo. The lion looks out from his den. Z, you look odd without your stripes. Where are they? I have lost them, says Z. Please help me find them. Amo the ant comes crawling up. Z, your stripes are gone. Where are they? Z is sad and replies. I have lost them. Please help me find them. The animals think hard. Where can the stripes be? They hop around to see. They look under the log. They look under the fig tree. Just then, Flo, the sly fox, comes there. What are you looking for? She asks. We are looking for Z's stripes, the animals say. Oh, I took Z's stripes to put on top of my bed, says Flo. Come and see. The animals all go off to Flo's house. They see the stripes on Flo's bed. The stripes make the bed look so nice. You can't take Z stripe like that, Flo, says Leo the lion. It's not right to take someone's things without asking them. The animals take the stripes back to Z. Z is about to eat some grass. She is still sad. Look what we have found for you, Z. Pip, the bee says. They put the stripes back on top of Z. Now Z is happy again. She is looking nice. She begins to hop around with joy. I am sorry, Z, for taking your stripes, Flo said. That is all right. Let us have some fun now, says Z, giving Flo a hug. Hope you enjoyed the story. Now let's move on 
to the next story. Carrie and Coco the cat. Carrie is a clever little girl. She can tell the time on the clock. Every morning, Carrie wears clean clothes. She always combs her hair carefully. Carrie has a pet cat. She is brown in color. Her name is Coco. Coco, the cat, is just as clean as Carrie. She licks her coat every day. One day, Carrie is busy counting coins in her money box. All of a sudden, Coco sees a mouse and runs to catch it. She knocks over the coffee cup in the kitchen. Coco runs outside the house. Coco, Coco, stop, calls Carrie. But Coco is long gone. Coco crosses the street and runs past the meadow. Some cows are eating grass there. Moo! They call out. At home, Carrie is worried about Coco. The clock strikes seven. It is cloudy and cold outside. Suddenly, Carrie hears a scratch at the door. Carrie opens the door and finds Coco sitting there, shivering. Carrie is very happy to see that Coco has come back. She carries Coco inside and closes the door. Carrie cares a lot for Coco. She covers Coco in a blanket and holds her close. Carrie feeds Coco some warm milk and a favorite cookies. Coco has had a long day, but she is happy to be in Carrie's caring arms. Hope you enjoyed the story too. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe. Also press on the bell notification button for more videos like these. Until next time, take care and bye.